The show which you are about to listen to is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of close friends, in particular, a tight-knit band of employees from a small, local horror marketplace. It is all the more tragic in that they were young, but had they lived very, very long lives, they could have not expected nor would they have wished to present to you as much of the madness and macabre that you're about to witness. For most, an idyllic horror podcast has become much more than a nightmare. The banter that is about to unfold will most likely lead to one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. Welcome to Terror Traders Creepcast. What's up, creeps? It's Jason, a.k.a. the Pope of Pain. That's right, the co-owner of Terror Trader here at the spookiest uh, store in freaking Chandler, Arizona. Uh, <laughs> I had that one of these in a minute, so my, my intro sucks. So, uh, but hey, we're, we're plus we're in the middle of the spooky season, so my brain uh, is pumpkin spice right now. So, <laughs> hey, send it to my right, my good friend, my East Coast ghost, uh, Mr. JDK. What up, dude? We're back. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're back. <laughs> if I can say that every time. <laughs> We're so bad. Look, oh, if you're looking for like uh, consistency, uh, to come to the store. You're going to consistently get awesome shit here at the store. Uh, if you're looking consistently in this podcast, Ooh. well, look, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we suck. saying? Wish in one hand, shit in the other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, it, we're busy, but I love talking on the mic. So, uh, you know, one thing we do a lot is uh, our Crip Cuts. Yes. So if you, you're looking for a long form stuff like we're doing today, awesome. If you're looking for, I need this 15 minutes of just fun horror talk. Those are the crypt cuts. We do those uh, at least once a week, maybe not, if not uh, twice. Yeah, and October is going to muddy that schedule up. But bear with us. It is because it's uh, you know we it's weird because like normally it's Jay and I are working together almost every day, but like uh, Gina Marie has this weird schedule like we're at Walmart or some shit, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so uh, so yeah, we're, we we only get to see each other a couple days a week this time, but uh, whatever, man. We're slinging horror and uh, we're having a great time. We're mid October right now, and uh, we we want to talk about today. Um, now you know Halloween night is the shit, right? Now this now let's back this up a little bit because. Halloween night this year, uh, 2023, if you're listening to this this year. If you're not, that's wild. Um, <laughs> that's there's probably a lot more stuff uh, past this. Uh, if you're listening <laughs> to this in 2024 or 5 or, or whatever. So, um, But it falls to this year on a Tuesday, uh, which is criminal, right? That's uh, a bummer. Yeah, so unless Wednesday's off for everybody in the world, but I don't think it is, right? You know what? I know this is criminal to think of or yeah. to say, but I've got to talk about this. You know Thanksgiving falls on a Thursday every year? Yeah. And we got to have Halloween on a Saturday, a hundred percent every year, a hundred percent. And it, if it changes the thirty first to like the 29th, who cares? Well, here's what I would just do: if it's say like, say, but you know, I think uh, the twenty eighth is a Saturday, right? It is. it is. So what we're just going to do? Uh, we need a, a president, uh, somebody out there, or somebody with a lot of power to be able to say, look. At last Saturday of every October, we're switching. I don't care if it's the 26th, which is the 31st. I'm with you. I love this. And then we can just take the 26th or 28th, whatever, and just put that on that Tuesday. And uh, so just deal. Look, we got fucking, uh, what is it, uh, daylight savings times, which makes no fucking sense None in the world, all. right? Uh, we're switching hours back. We're just changing the, the uh, time. Uh, the, you, you can't do that. What are you, freaking, you know, immortal fucking uh, celestial yeah. body <laughs> god that you can just change time? Well, if we could do that, we could just change the date Fuck it. I'm with you. And if we could eat turkey on the same Thursday of every Thank November, you. we could do it, you know, yeah, it's over. That's right. So uh, so Saturday, it's Saturday night. So let me paint the scene here for you all guys. Right. Saturday night, October 31st, regardless if it is or not, all right, <laughs> play along. Um, you and a good group of friends. I'm not talking big house party. This ain't no fucking frat thing or whatever, right? <laughs> sure. We're talking like you're, yeah, say, eight friends or something like that, right? You know, I don't know, under 10, uh, but you're getting together and say it's a good Halloween night. Like Everybody's dressed up in costumes. The booze is flowing. The whatever else is flowing. You want to <laughs> flow the weed. I don't give a shit. You know, it depends. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and you guys are kind of, you know, you need a a playlist. Now, yeah. I'm not talking music playlist because that's uh, you can go to uh, Cuts of Terror Volume uh-huh. One or JDK on uh, Spotify there and uh, listen to our actual store soundtrack. What a plug! What a plug, huh? <laughs> um, but we're talking about your movie playlist for the night, okay? Now we're assuming, say, the party's kicking off at seven, right? People are showing up, um, and we're wrapping about three a.m. You know, the last uh, you know the TV goes static, like in the Poltergeist or something like that, right? And we get all fucking scary and all that stuff. So, um, so that's like uh, that's the the lineup, right? I 
I think we need five movies. Five movies. Yes. And I think we're going to form two different parties. Correct. Here. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be so. You know, I'm going to have at the uh, the uh, uh, El Suoro Manor over here, the Pope of Pain <laughs> uh, fucking haunted house, right? Uh, we got one party, and uh, I'm still looking for eight friends. I don't know if I'll find those. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, you're going all the way to Salem, Mass, right? J- uh, Jada K fucking flies yeah. home. Those is fucking banger, wicked banger party here, <laughs> fucking with all his friends with the uh, you know mass holes and shit, right? Uh, eight felines, probably. Eight felines. Okay, yeah. yeah, there you go. And so you have your movie lineup. I yes. have mine. And then at the end here, guys, when you're listening to this, I don't know, I don't know, um, DM us or tell us or come into the store. Come I love the that. Store, yeah. yeah, and tell us, hey, whose fucking party you're going to, right? <laughs> and don't worry, you're not going to hurt Justin's feelings by saying mine. So you can just that's, you're not because no matter what, I have a feeling you know, even though we're going to have two totally different parties here, yeah. you're Yours yeah. is still going to be good. Uh, look, I know this. I think both of them are good, man. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what your lineup is. I, I feel mine's feeling pretty rad, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good on this. We got, we got to say there's one rule going into this. Yes. And it's uh, no Halloween. Okay, good call. Good call. Because we all know 78 Halloween is just uh, that's a staple, right? That's right. fucking jingle bells at Christmas. <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's turkey at Thanksgiving. Um, right. That's it's, um, it's the Sandman, right? I yeah, mean, that's. Uh, I was going to do something really gross and perverted for Valentine's Day, but I'll stick that. <laughs> this is like the, got the kids, kids show here. I gotta, I gotta relax. Come here. back in February. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. So that's a given. So we're going to erase that. All right, we're going to erase that from anybody's memory here. We're not erase it, but we're just know that's going to go on no matter what. These are five. Five movies, okay. That um, and and it's not just five. Put them anywhere. Like, you yes. got to pace this party. You brought a little caveat to the table yes. here of placement. Correct. So yeah, you're not going to put like not that we can use a Halloween, but you're not going to play that first. No, no, absolutely not. Now you got to it, it's you got to look at the mood of the, the party, the way the party's going, right? And I remember this uh, uh, back in the '90s, man. I used to really fucking. Uh, Tear some shit up here at a, a Black Angus in, in uh, Oceanside, California, right? <laughs> right. And people are like, "What do you mean Black Angus?" Believe it or not, this Black Angus in the '90s was like the number one dance club in fucking Southern California, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know how. No, it was like a two-year stretch, and then it got tore down and it got ripped down, and I think cops blew it up. I don't know. So all types of weird shit happened, but it was the fucking hot spot. My wife hates when I talk about Black Angus <laughs> in the early '90s because. My smiles go to my face. God damn, there's some fun times, right? But one thing I always knew um, at, uh, well, one I admired, I admired was the DJ. Okay. Now, the DJ, now look, inside this Black Angus, which is not a, yes, it's a restaurant, but like at 8 p.m., they fucking cleared tables and it became a huge nightclub, okay? Um, And at eight, and then so throughout the night, you had a fucking 100, Fucking horny, fucking twenty year olds, right? <laughs> and uh, and this is his job. This guy's job is to keep this fucking mood. Get people who are just right, you know, holding up the bar at first, right? To get them on the dance floor. Not only that, um, you know, spike the party up, and then at the end of the night, make love connections. And you can all do that with music. And it was very like this guy was a wizard ninja, right? When it comes to the shit, he would like, oh, the mood's a little low. Watch this, boom. He put some fucking you know two live crew on or something. We go, wow, oh, he's a horny, Aww. right? We're, we're all just got there, yeah, <laughs> grinding on each other. So, um, not saying, not saying I, yeah, we're doing yeah, this, yeah, right, sure. but this is what we're talking about curating a, a proper list, right? A playlist. So. I'm so glad you talk about that because it's so pivotal. I don't care if you're watching movies, the sound design is the most important part. Yes. It, it, it kind of evokes your emotions, how you're feeling sad, mad, glad. I, yes. So, when it's like 12 30 and the party's winding down at Black Angus, Ooh. you might need to throw on some two live crew, right? First off, yeah, yeah, it, it never winded down until about 2 a.m. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, you're right, fucking Black. Angus. Uh, well, I got some stories. All right, so um, so we're gonna do the same thing, uh, minus the you know the meat so horny shit, right? Sure. Well, look, it might happen. I don't know, right? So uh, so we're gonna we're gonna break down these uh, these hours here uh, and what movies and, and reasons why, right? So um, and, and our five classic films that we're throwing in. Why well, not classic? Well, I guess they're classics. Oh, these are yeah, yeah. So all right, let me lead off. Let me lead off. Okay, it's fucking uh, seven p.m. People are rolling in, right? You got to have something on the TV. Right? Right, so people are sober, right? Uh, or they're just they're st- even if you're straight edge or something like that, and you're not drinking, uh, or you got to what, what is it on like Instagram? You have like the X's before the your X's name, and yeah, before and after, before yeah. and after, right? So I just learned that, man. You kids out there, yeah. So oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I always thought kids. that was something like an OnlyFans thing or something. So, uh, <laughs> but then I saw our friend Kirby had one. And there's no fucking way this guy's fucking showing his butthole. So, <laughs> okay, so anyway, all right, get off track. I got off track. Sorry about that. So everybody's coming in, right? But you need to, you need to start 
start lightening the mood, right? Because you know, one maybe maybe it's some friends, maybe you know, come some of them have some static together or some shit like that back in the day. You know, whatever, right? This Halloween party, we're all supposed to have a good time, yeah. So I am fucking starting off. I'm starting off this party with some comedy, dude. <laughs> was Scary Movie, all right? The 2000 Scary Movie, man. And it's going to get everybody in the party mood, right? Once again, Scary Movie is the greatest parody, I think, of, of horror movies, right? Yeah, they're, they're, it's undisputed. Yeah, undisputed. Absolutely, man. So, And it's funny, but it, it hits the tropes of all the, you know, a lot of, uh, of you know, former horror movies and, and Scream and all this right. stuff, right? That's really hot, you know, and all that stuff. So um, whether you're watching it or you're just catching a few scenes, right, you know, um, that's perfect, right? I like that you're kicking off with it because you got to kick off with something exciting that's going to get you invested. I want to stay at this party. Yes. I want to see what's next. Yes. But at the same time, you could also, this is such a, a fun movie that you could kind of put this at like a midnight hour. Uh-huh. And because there's a lot of, you know, sexual parts of this movie. There is, yes. And that might, you know, escalate to something. Well, in you your never party. know, right? You don't know. Uh, some, um, some people might be heading down in the basement for, for some reason, sure. right? So, uh, but when you kick off the party with this, <laughs> I got to stay involved and I yeah. got to see what's coming next. So, yes. It's hard to dispute that. No, nah, so Scary Movie is a good one, right? And once again, if you're not invested in it, which, you know, a lot of times it's a party, so you're not totally, totally invested in a horror movie, right? Until eh, maybe the, the weed hour, wee hours of the night, right? You know? And really quickly, yeah. I, I, I'd argue that that ghost face mask the was up. Guy, oh, I'd argue that mask sells just as much as the ghost face mask does. 100%. And he's going to be at our convention. Uh, very good. Whatever. David Sheridan, <laughs> man, is going to be here. Which, right, you got, you're like, David Sheridan, he was Officer Doofy in it, right? Yep. He also played uh, the was up ghost face, right? Um, and uh, yes, he is bringing the screen used was up ghost face outfit to. Uh, a Christmas to dismember. What a photo op. Yeah, and we're gonna we're putting a couch down there and a forty ounce, so you can sit <laughs> with him and fucking and get that po- that photo right. So anyway, that's a shameless plug. And he's still looking great, by the way. Yeah, this guy's ripped. Dude, right? Lord. This guy's ripped. Let me tell you, man. I want that kit for Christmas. <laughs> that he's on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called steroids. So <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding, Dave. We're it's just HGH. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a great pick. <laughs> so what's your what's your kickoff? That's what's your lead pick. off, man? So you actually mentioned this movie earlier in the podcast. Um, I'm leading off with Poltergeist. Okay. Oh, and, oh, and, oh okay. and here's why. Yeah. Number one, it's a lighthearted. It's lighthearted fun. Now it'll scare it'll scare the shit out of you. Yes. But also. Listen, if you're in your 30s, your 40s, maybe your 50s, yeah. you might you come to this party. You might have to be. You might be hamstrung with some kids at the moment. 100. percent Yeah. So. It'd be a great way to, hey, I could get a babysitter around eight or nine, yeah. but I need some time. Buy me some time. And if Poltergeist is on TV, maybe it'll get the kids into Poltergeist. Maybe not. I like that. But either way, it's a great way to just introduce yeah. a fun movie, but it's not too serious. Nah. Scare the shit out of you. Uh, yeah. And- but you can miss, like, you could go into the kitchen, make a drink, come back, just pick up right where you left off. Absolutely. I mean, and there's key scenes where the party hits a halt, right? Yeah. Where you're just kind of mingling in the kitchen and it's like, oh, wait, look, here's the clown scene, right? Absolutely. Or the, the uh, you know, the, the the pool scene at the end with the, the real scene. live human bodies. You know, is For it sure. true? I don't know. Is that I fucking true? That, <laughs> that little urban legend that when she's in the pool and those bodies are popping up. Right. There's like, those are real human skeletons. Yeah. Like, you just don't go down to the fucking store in Hollywood and pick up fucking, like, <laughs> corpses. These are freaking corpses, not skeletons. I get it if you're, you got a uh, a medical skeleton, I got right. you know, or whatever. But really quick, cool. it was so yeah. funny. Growing up, people were afraid of swimming in their pools because of Jaws. I was afraid of swimming in my pool because I was like, I, I saw Boulder guys, fucking Indian barrier. I don't know what baby. it is underneath. This. <laughs> That's right, man. Um, but also, like, it's not as funny as scary movie. But there are some really lighthearted, funny there moments is. in Boulder guys. No, absolutely. So I think. As far as kicking off a like a midnight movie marathon here, five movies, yeah. long night, uh, Poltergeist for me, I'd like to kick off that uh, money that showing. That's a great one, man. That's a great one. Like I said, you can miss a lot of this and don't worry about it, right? For so, sure. And you know, as the party goes on, there's people that don't give two fucks about the movies and just want to sit, hang out in the kitchen, or they're, we're at the front porch and just drink and, and, and party. <laughs> and there's some people that like want to be invested in this, right? Absolutely. So and this is why now you start ramping up some movies that hey. Maybe people do want to sit and watch, right? You know, that stuff. So right. um, we're about the 9 o'clock hour right now, 9.30 hour, whatever, right? So yep. things are, you know, people are getting a little juiced up, and uh, it's fun. <laughs> and the Halloween mood's going. Everybody's in their costumes and all that shit. And then, uh, well, for me, another a great way to segue from Scary Movie, but into another fun movie, but a little bit more serious, but still has a nice comedic uh, aspect, a little bit to it. Uh, we're talking about the 1985 Fright Night, okay? Oh. Yes. Uh, classic modern vampire flick right with what some a win. classic lines in it and i think this is a key 
when you are watching a movie uh, with a group of friends, there has to be lines that everybody can say, right? You know, and 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 Evil Ed, which you guys remember, Evil Ed and and to uh, Friday. Night. I think everybody's seen Friday. I don't need to get a review on this fucking. If you haven't, oh, go watch it. Right? Sure. Uh, don't watch the fucking modern one though, or whatever. No, what? don't do that. <laughs> Sorry, we watch the '85 version, but like Evil Ed is like their Renfield, right? To um, Jerry Dandridge, right? Yeah. Jerry Dandridge is your Dracula creature. I'm just kind of throwing these names out, but there needs to be, you know. And Evil Ed was like his little minion, you know, yes, master, you yeah. know, that type of guy, man. And um, and then you also had like a Peter Vincent who was like a. A vampire hunter slash, I mean, kind of like a Vincent Price character, That's right? Great, yeah, yeah. Great, great so analogy. like a knockoff, you know, and Absolutely. all that stuff. So you already you got some classic characters in there, but Evil Ed always had the "You're so cool, Brewster." And, <laughs> you know, everybody at a party's fucking saying that line, you know. Be, oh, you're so cool, JDK. <laughs> you know, and all that crazy. Then you're, you know, fucking burning a crucifix in my skull and all that uh, shit, you right? know. But fun vampire movie, um, and it's like I said, it's not hardcore. Violent, you know, whore, right? No, but you I mean you get really cool performances from Chris Sarandon, who's like probably yes. he's my favorite vampire. <laughs> yeah, I mean that dude, he is good, man. Yeah, like I know a lot of lo- the Lost Boys get a lot of love, but I mean Chris sure. Sarandon as Jerry, yeah, amazing, I, absolutely. And you're like you're putting Fright Night over Lost Boys. Lost Boys to me. And I don't know if this is on your list, but if it is, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. going to run it for you. But I feel it's a summer movie. I mean, I, it, it is a summer movie, you know, but, uh, and it's, you know, I don't, I mean, Halloween night, eh, I don't know. I understand why people watch The Lost Boys throughout Halloween season. Yeah. But on Halloween night, that is not one that's going to ever Correct. Yeah. touch the list. Right? Absolutely. So that's um, where I'm sitting at. I love a fright night. Uh, oh. And, it, you know, it's still early in the night, right? But people are juiced up a little bit. And, uh, and it's, like I said, the one liners are, are flowing, man. So yeah, no, I like it. And the one thing about fright night, if we're talking, uh, Halloween, uh, movie posters. Oh yeah, that is like the the, the best. Oh. I mean, the Fright Night movie poster yeah. literally screams Halloween. Yes, I, I agree. Uh, oh. well, probably one of the best posters Ever. in horror and eighties horror. Man, that is amazing, phenomenal. Yeah. So, um, all right, what's your number two? All right, so heating up a little bit, like you said, with your pick, uh, we're just going to crank up the volume just a little bit. So we're not okay. going to get too far into it yet, but we're going to go to uh, I forget the year, but it was uh, Michael Doherty's Trick or Treat, right? Oh so, yeah. Oh, okay. A, a modern Solid. day anthology, right? Yes. And the fun thing about this movie is. You get Sam, okay? Everybody, we've seen what be, what became of Sam, right? He's right. everywhere. You love the lollipop. You love both ver- variants of Sam, the one with the mask on and the, the hideous. So it's so funny. Everybody calls him Sam, right? Yeah. But the second you say Sam Hain here at the store, there's, well, 99% of people, there's always a one person, I'm not going to mention names, uh, that will look at you and say, it's Samhain, Right. Okay, so do what I call what's Sam now? Sal? Sa- oh, sa- Sal. Sal. It's bullshit. It's fucking <laughs> Sam, Sam Hayes. Sam. Easy, Danzig. Just go, all right? No, so, yeah, Sam. okay, go ahead. No, so Sam, it's so like, listen, you got the cool lollipop. A yeah. lot of really yeah. pivotal things came of this movie, but one thing I love about it is, again, anthology. So you got four, I think it was four segments. Yeah, in I think this, so right? too, yeah. Um, three or four, whatever it was. But nonetheless, you get, I mean, those masks from the kids in the school bus. <sighs> I mean, man. the vampire mask was one of the coolest I've seen, man. How about um, them werewolves, baby? The werewolves Ooh. you get, and that was incredible, right? <laughs> right. So, again, you're heating up a little bit. Yeah. It, it's still somewhat kid-friendly because the kids love Sam. Sure, sure, but sure. But at the same time, adults are going to be stoked because you're going to get a lot of smoking hot werewolves. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, you heard me right, smoking hot werewolves. Or literally, de-skinning, which is yeah. the greatest transformation, one of the greatest transformations in, in werewolf history, by it's the up way. There. Yeah. Um, and I, w- as far as watching this movie, again, yeah. we're both from the East Coast. I'm sure a lot of you guys listening, maybe you're from the East Coast. Sure. Well, but this movie screams out fall and Halloween. Yeah. It's got that foliage. Oh. It's got like the colors are fantastic. And That's- the rules of Halloween. It's the whole oh, movie's based call. on don't break the rules of Halloween. Don't break the rules. Always pass out your goddamn candy. That's right. Uh, we always wear a costume. Never blow out a jack o' lantern before midnight. Yeah. And I don't know. There's a couple more. Anyway. Shit that we should all be like yeah. abiding by. You yeah, know what I mean? absolutely. Man. I don't care how old you are. You should be abiding by these rules. That's um, a great choice, man, because that's that just screams Halloween, Halloween party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a good one. All right, all right, not bad. I might, I might go to your party later. All right, all right. I'll save a spot. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I need a friend. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're hitting about the eleven o'clock hour, right? Oh, shit, is, yeah, the alcohol's flowing big time, right? Everybody's juiced up. You got that one asshole, fucking, who's you know he's who's now he's a ghost, but underneath the ghost outfit, he's butt naked. You know, whatever. It's like fine. The, the stifler of the party. You right? got one of those, yeah. right? You know, and, and you know. And the usually, guy's usually just a fucking train wreck. But then you let him go because he's a good friend, right? You know, right. and all that stuff. So he's running around like a ghost. But, you know, times are – it's it's fun. Now we're, everybody's having loosened up, a good time. 
you got to keep the the mood going. You got to keep the atmosphere going. And nothing better for me than Creep Show, the original oh. '82, right? You got to go '82, and uh, which has that classic EC Comics, you know, pre code horror feel, right? And that's what the whole thing's based off of, because it's like an anthology, like you said, for right? Sure. I think there's five short stories in this one, um, but directed by George Romero, bro. Yeah, you might have heard of him. Yeah, you might have <laughs> heard of this guy, and written by Stephen King. So yeah, the names on this one are yeah a and, plethora and it's so cool because it's so moody man the blue the red lighting the, the you know the weird background spirals and and the fun stories and classic lines too you know in this whole movie and you got a lot of you know uh classic real good movie uh characters slash even stars that are in this you know absolutely and everything and it's just you know it's freaking awesome man i love this and it's and once again one of those you don't have to be glued to the screen Absolutely. But, oh, I love this segment. I love the cockroaches, right? Or I love the Father's Day segment or oh. whatever. You can sit down for 20 minutes and, and ingest it and then get up and continue to party. You know? Agreed. Yeah. And, I, it, and when that shit is streaming on the screen and just has blues and those reds, man, that's what I'm talking about And right you can there. tell that was a big inspiration for you because I know you're, as a big uh, a fan of like photography and yes. stuff, you're all about lighting. And I know the creep show lighting, oh. huge inspiration for Dude, you. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. My fucking, I, my bathroom's lit up like this, man. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's just the weirdest <laughs> shit ever, man. I'm in the mirror. Oh, never mind. I'm okay with oh. this. All right. <laughs> Where's my cake? Anyway, uh, I want my cake. I keep uh, saying that to myself. My wife's so like, funny. what are you doing in there? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, But no, I love that. I love that lighting. I love that feel. And, and, and a good anthology, which... 90% of the anthology movies out there suck balls, dude. All they right? Do. I'm telling you right now, sorry if you made one out there and it sucks, um, but look in the freaking mirror, right? Right. Um, so you, <laughs> And it's hard, right? Because sometimes like when you actually get a good one, only one segment is good. Yes. Like a Trilogy of Terror. Yeah, okay. Trilogy of Terror is a great example because the first two in Trilogy of Terror Ooh. just sleep through it, man. I don't even remember them. I don't either. Yeah. But you start getting the uh, Zuni <laughs> fetish word, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. that little fucking <laughs> guy. Turn up, fucking, just fucking put on your seatbelt, dude, right? Right. <laughs> it's so good, man. That's so, a powerful list so far. Yeah. So uh, that's my number three. That's my like 11 o'clock hour going in. So what are you, what are you doing, man? So right now, okay, now we're going to crank, we're taking a big step ahead yes. here, okay? Yeah. Um, staying consistent. I know this is uh, dicey right here because I just did a werewolf movie. Right, right. right. But I got to go to the king of all werewolf <laughs> movies now, and we're going to American Werewolf in London. Oh, Jesus, man. Are um, you serious? Well, because now the night's starting to set oh in, right? God. So now you're getting, now you can't see outside. And maybe, yeah. and if, depending where you're at, maybe you see some fog. Right. Or some do some mist. Oh, man. Yeah, so, well, it's true. Because if you're on the East Coast, right? Um, or maybe Northern California or up at, or, right. or you know, northern state. You're in Arizona. You're it's still 85 degrees <laughs> and, yeah. at midnight. But if, if you're you're somewhere else, it's it's chilly. There's some leaves blowing around everywhere. Maybe that little mist is coming in. Little mist. Fucking stay o- stay on the roads. But stay <laughs> stay off the moors. Beware the moors. <laughs> yes. Uh, beware the moon. Uh, beware the moon. Wait, no, it's a moor. Stay off. Stay, stay off the moors. Stay off the moors and yeah, yeah. Beware the fucking moon too. I don't know. Yeah, it's all of the above. Slaughtered lamb, baby. Let's go. Oh, that might be the name of the the party. Oh, at, at ooh. This, but I don't know. We'll figure out that. that. We'll cross that bridge. Damn. Okay. But seriously, I think American Werewolf in London. That is a uh, staying consistent with these these werewolves here. Um, oh. and the Howling is not on the list next, by the way. So. Yeah, this is where the werewolf movies end. It, but, it, yeah, a phenomenal dude. Okay, John Landis. You have yeah. Uh, what's our boy David Naughton? Yes. You have Griffin Dunn. Yes. You have Rick Baker, arguably the best special effects. Which he wore, like got an Oscar for the, this uh, transformation. It is the best transformation in any werewolf movie. I don't give a shit. And what you say? I agree with you. And we we've dove into this before. We've seen interviews, and they had uh, John talking to him before the movie. and yes. They were like, "Listen, you're gonna do this transformation scene in like the middle of daylight, which is crazy. Crazy. No smoke and mirrors. No. Be no darkness. No a- cuts. Yeah. As a um, as a you know a special effects artist, you got to be stressed the fuck out at that point, right? Right. I mean, you're going to be like, wait, what? I'm doing what? Yeah. Uh, you know, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, and in the broad daylight, because they, they usually hide that in the shadows, right, and all that stuff. So, right. um, and, yeah. Another thing, like the scares in this movie, still stay with me to this day. Yeah. So you're talking about the hospital bed, the Ooh. bedroom scene, that um, that fucking dream sequence, man. The dream sequence. Everybody stops at that point in that fucking party. <sighs> To watch those two minutes of just terror. Right. Holy shit. The fucking Nazi demons. The Nazi already? demons. The movie theater oh, sequence. Yes. I mean, oh, that's great, too. Yeah. Phenomenal. Just everything about this movie I love. I also had a major crush on the nurse. 
Like, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. And just one of my favorite performances. Ooh, what if someone at the party is dressed up like, oh, God, that's, oh, that's, that's dangerous. That's where the night ends. Yeah, yeah, that's where it's at. I'm the guy in the- uh, I the, leave my own party. Na- naked underneath the ghost seat, all right? So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. Damn it. All right. right. But no, that's where I'm going with it, Okay, too. that's uh, a great one, man. That's a great one. So so far, we're neck neck. Man, this is good. <clears throat> great party. Okay, so now we're past the midnight hour, right? Co- co-main event. Yeah, co-main event. This is where- I mean, we're going from serious to fucking serious here, right? The, the party's turned on. There's probably one dude that's just sloshed, right? Fucking face down. But that's okay. And everybody's drawing dicks on his forehead. <laughs> um, all that's of good stuff. But there, you still need, I think, one more for me. One more group movie, right? Ooh. Gathering, get around and this fucking laugh. Let's have fun. We're really hammered. This is crazy. Or if you're straight edge, you're, I don't know what you're doing. You're playing tic-tac-toe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm not busting his balls. I was going to say drinking Coca-Cola, but there it has caffeine go. in it, so I don't think that. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. Fucked. Uh, whatever. You know, whatever. Uh, yeah. And look, um, and I am going with everybody's favorites, right? Uh, I'm going with the 96 Scream. Holy shit. OG. OG. Whoa. Just because it's got, it, you know, they break that fourth wall a little bit they they talk about i say the break of the fourth wall not really well break of the fourth wall in the horror genre type of thing you can talk about horror movie tropes and the, the jokes about it and then and then everybody who's going to leave what that scene walk around, i'll be right back you know do all that shit the, the lines are going to fly and this thing is star-studded right great cast and it's a classic like I don't, who done it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, we all know who did it, right? Obviously. Um, but it's still fun to watch that. And, uh, you know, once again, I just think it's everybody's party favorite uh, for Halloween. you got to throw in Scream. Man. Listen, I'd argue that transcended the whole hard genre in the 90s because at the time, there wasn't much happening. I you're, mean, it, you're right. Before Scream in the 90s, there was really nothing no, exciting happening. Nothing really. I mean, you had the Candyman series, which was okay, but, you, I mean, how, how much how much you watching Candyman, right? Right. And so this is when... The 80s literally destroyed, killed, um, and just you dominated the, the slasher movement. Yeah, absolutely. And then fucking the 90s came, and the, and the 90s was like a redheaded stepchild, man. Right. Um, and it was just like fucking. <laughs> You're talking six, seven years of nothingness. Oh, and it was just suck. And then out of nowhere, fucking Scream pops up in 96. And, and it, it's <laughs> generational now because like that literally got the next generation into It horror. did. It really, and that's something that, you know, I'll tip my hat because I'm an 80s guy, right? I love the 80s slashers, but I'll tip my hat um, to, uh, to Scream, Craven, everybody who just put this thing together and it was like, fuck, dude, you revitalized. You you gave me a reanimator shot in the arm right? Um, and I'm a fucking weird dead cat, right? I'm fucking <laughs> flying off the walls right I'm now. feral now. Yes, man. You and, know? and look at that cast. I mean, Nev Campbell, oh, Drew Barrymore. Jesus. And they killed Drew Barrymore off right off, dude. Right off, dude. Fucking gangster move, by the way, I was way, like, right? why is it Drew Barrymore's in the movie? I remember being in the yes. like, holy shit, that's crazy. And yeah. then they killed her. Yes, man. It's so good, dude. So And you didn't do that to the stars in movies, right? You didn't. So, so everything was like off limits. Limits, right, know? and that was kind of cool. And like I said, breaking down the, the, the you know the, the, those you know tropes of horror movies that we all grew up on and knew. Yes, and now, but no one talked about in movies, right? Yeah. You just assumed of it, you know, assumed they don't have sex, this and that, right? Yeah, and now the killer's sprinting and yeah. running. Yes, not yeah. Walking. There's no more Jason Voorhees just walking, and somehow yeah. you magically appear in front of me again. You know, you fuck. right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that <laughs> ghost face is just that dude's just rolling, you know, or girl, whatever. Yeah, a a dudette, lim- uh, you know, <laughs> if you could keep going on to part five or whatever. Right. So. Uh, but no, great, great, uh, great movie. And once again, this is where everybody's there. The liquid courage is going. Everybody's just l- fucking lubricated. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and this <laughs> is a great fun. We're screaming. We're throwing popcorn at the screen. Um, you know, some people are thinking, you know, people, Dewey's hot and all this shit. <laughs> right. Anyway. So, um, all right. What do you got? What's Listen, your number man, four? What's your kill main? That was a Mike Tyson haymaker of a pick. It was. Right there. Yes. Yes. The only way I could think to kind of counteract that a little bit. Is if uh, my home main event features Art the Clown and Terrifier. Oh, the first one. Oh, God. I knew he was going to go there. I the knew the first one. But it, you went there and it was rightfully so. I mean, that was that's what a great pick. Well, the cool thing at both of our four spots here, I, the one thing I like about them is I would argue so Scream 96, that got everybody back into horror. Sure. I would argue Terrifier kind of did the same thing. I agree. When that came out in 2016, I, I think it was. Yes. Um, so. There- no really great, great slashers in the 2000s, man. No, you know, so again. so we needed this. And, we, and, and let me say, no real amazingly great, iconic characters. Like the 80s had, you know, Voorhees, your Freddies, your blah, blah, you know, you keep going, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, your, your Myers. Pin 90s, head. yes, you had your ghost face. Name another one. You can't. That's um, it. And the so, thing about Ghostface, yeah. he was rotating. Yes. So he's not really, it's hard to... 
consider him an icon. I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, it changes all the time. Changes, yeah. But then now we're kind of went in the 2000s with some good movies. Don't get wrong, but there was nothing like there's you know what merch are you buying? What mask are you buying in the 2000s? Right until right. fucking Art the Clown came around, and wow, he just turned this whole thing upside wow, down. Wow, dude, I can't keep we can't keep anything in stock here. Art nothing the Clown, in stock. Man. Art the Clown. Everybody that comes in is wearing a terrifier shirt. Yeah, and I think the first movie is a great way to uh, do the fourth movie here because it's quick. It's like 80 some minutes long. Yes. It's just a hell of a time. I mean, yep. we're talking about one of the most iconic scenes in probably 20 years with yeah. the uh, oh, Catherine Corcoran fuck. upside down. Stra- yeah, we, we should talk to her. We should get her on the, the mic here one of these days. Oh, I think uh, maybe spoiler. Oh, shit. Maybe, All right. maybe it could happen. Maybe it could happen. <laughs> but, like, that movie is so vicious. Yes. I think when you're talking about, like, at this point of the party, I think people are going to be maybe either a little too drunk yeah. or maybe they're just really tired. Sure. And <laughs> this movie's going to wake you up. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, this is going to be a shot in the arm. You're going to revitalize, especially. The kill scenes, man, are just insane. Phenomenal. Right? Um, some of my favorite practical effects. Too. Yeah. And pretty sure at the party, there was a, there will be an Arthur Clown uh, roaming around there. So and we'll probably have four bitches on it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, getting grinded on and all this shit, you know, by a fake-ass Drew Barrymore or some shit. Oh. But you know what? Rightfully so. That's a party, right? That's what I'm talking about. And why not throw Terrifier on? Great choice. Great choice on that, man. So it's my event time. This is it. This is it. This is it's one AM, maybe one thirty, right? Last movie, right? You got a couple people that are fucking just passed out. A couple people are in the closet. No, I'm not asking what's going on there. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? And it's it's winding down, right? And you never want to end Halloween just like, well, bye. I'm not going to go to bed, right? Sure. You need a good midnight spook show to just fucking put the fear of God in you, right? Put the fear of any <laughs> like shadow around you. You walk in, you know, you're, you're fucking flipping on lights before you go to bed because I ain't playing this shit, man. And, right. and you need something that just gives you that. I need, I'm here to be scared because it's Halloween night. And I'm going with the goat. Hey, you're a bit, not Halloween. Not, not <laughs> Halloween. I'm going with the 81 Evil Dead. Man. The OG Evil Dead, right? I was wondering if you'd pull it. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, to me, it's a true Midnight Spook show. I love this because it's grainy. It's fucking, it's just, it's dirty looking, right? And it's just got this insane feel. You still have, you still love the Ash character, right? Bruce Campbell, because he's, he's very charismatic. And, uh, but he is going through fucking hell. And it is the best demonic possession looking monsters. And we're the cheapest budget, right? But just shit that just swallow your soul. Just sit that was scared the hell out of you, right? And uh, and everybody loves a good cabin in the wood, scary ass story. And this is it. This is it, right? This half the people are passed out. The other half are glued to the TV, right? You're cuddled up under a blanket, fucking popcorn laying all over the place, right? <laughs> Makeup smear. You don't give a shit, right? Yeah. Fuck. This is it right here for me, man. It's you- vicious. And when this movie's over, you're probably going to need some cuddle up time mm-hmm. because you're going to be a little shaken. Yeah. No. Absolutely, man. This is uh, if you guys have never watched. Evil Dead, like in a dark setting past midnight. Oh, it's it's a win. It's a win, man. You you do it. I promise you, you, you won't be you won't regret it because it's an experience. Shout yourself, out to man. everybody living in the woods too, because all you guys living in the woods, this movie's just even better. No fucking way, right? <laughs> if I was living in the woods, like something like that, I, I, I'd be watching the Peanuts fucking Halloween special, <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh-huh. I'm not watching Evil Dead, right? <laughs> I'm in the city. I'm fine right now. Right. So, but I that's mean, that's it for me, right? That's the one, man. And then at that point. You can party's over. You're fucking. You got chills down your spine. You had it. You fucking high five anybody still alive, and uh, <laughs> you have a great time. And uh, you can't follow all people dead. You, no, you, yeah, that's it. That's my that's my main event. Close so, the show. Yeah. You know? So, um, all right. What is your main event? How are you closing this party? So I like the way you said it. You wanted to kind of like your, it's your last film. You want to like scare the shit out of people. Yes. Gonna, I'm trying to like possess the people. Oh. And so if okay, you know you got uh, Martha and Gary falling asleep on the couch. Yep. And the thing that's going to wake Fucking them up, dude, snoring. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> they're going to hear the Halloween three oh. jingle to start the oh. and they are going to wake the man. fuck up and uh, let Tom Atkins Shit. carry them home, lullaby them to sleep. Wow, so, dude. Um, I know it's a little bit of a cheat because it is a Halloween movie, but it does not feature Michael Myers. No, the, the, what a great choice to end the fuck. Oh my god! Listen, I want Tom Atkins to be the last thing I saw before I fell asleep. Yeah. I just, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. So, Tom Atkins is uh, what do they call him? A horror daddy, a horror, a horror, a horror daddy. A horror daddy. I like this. Sure that's what they call him. I can see like a, wearing a 
burn a choker with that. It says uh, probably, probably. <laughs> fucking horror daddy with Tom Atkins on it, man. <laughs> right? That's pretty rad. But Halloween three for so many reasons. You guys, yeah. this movie is the epitome of Halloween season to me. Uh, yes, it really is. Even if we were to include all the Halloween films, including seventy eight, like this is the one that I think feels the most. Holy shit! It's the mask. How many people are sitting in front of the TV when you when that thing when the when the fucking TV commercials are sinking? They're, oh they're, they're they're rocking their heads back and forth. Everybody is getting along. Everybody's participating in this fucking three more days. Out, right? You know, right? you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's obnoxious, but everybody loves it. It'll possess you. And it, it will totally possess you. And at the end of the movie, you just have Tom Mack and screaming, stop it. Stop like it. 800 oh. times. And you and fucking end the night with that, dude? With the oh stop my it. God. Yeah. How fucking great is that, So dude? Halloween 3, I feel like that's the nightcap. Woo. Jesus. Good night, delights. Look, I don't know how much we can lay this more out for you guys out there, man. All right? This is it, man. We gave you two incredible lists. All right? A fucking lineup from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. And can I be honest? Yeah. You can't go wrong. Either party you attend. Either one is is the jam. I promise you, man. So whether you're, 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 even if you're by yourself, and I don't know if you can sit by yourself for fucking, I don't know, yeah, well, maybe that's a lot 10, of hours, 10 hours, you know? But if you can, right on, man. Uh, right. But you got a good group of people together. These one of these lists are going to work for it, or or mash them up, man. Right, and if you don't have friends or anything, come hang out with us this Halloween season. Look, I don't got friends either. Come We're on. open thirty-one days, <laughs> right? Yeah. Bring it on, man. Bring yeah. it. Come on out and Let's hang go. out, man. I love this, man. Come so, tell us your five movies. That's and that's something I want to know. I want to know your guys' lineup. Um, hit us back with this, man. Um, it's well, you know, obviously this is on YouTube as well. It's probably where the best you can actually come sitting or taking. Well, you we can't really. Can you go on Spotify and make comments? I don't think so. But yeah, um, go on YouTube. You're, if you're listening to this on YouTube, and, and give us your your list. Let me know or which list you want to you want to what part do you want to attend right east coast or you want to go out there or, yeah, <laughs> or, right. or west virginia or wherever <laughs> the fuck i'm from man so um i love it i love it great show great great uh lineup and uh but I, got, I got a question for you let me ask okay. you i got two questions okay <clears throat> that uh i was driving today uh this podcast and i'm, I'm going to kind of ambush you on this right okay. so so hang in there um but what costume are you wearing halloween night Oh, yeah. Wow. What is J to K? What are, what are you wearing? I'd love to give you some smart ass answer. Like I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna dress up as the smile lady and oh, okay. <laughs> see what it's like to smile for the first time. Um, I'm gonna go with uh man, wow, what a question. Uh yeah. I'm going old school, dude. Okay. Okay, I'm kicking I, it back to the like when I was six, seven years old. Oh shit. And I couldn't afford a Halloween costume. Okay. So I grabbed the and this isn't the costume for my party, right? Okay. This is for my party. Yeah, this I'm, is for your party. This is what you're wearing, uh, you know, when we're all watching the movies and having a good time and all that shit, right? You're fucking dropping some shit in this punch bowl, whatever. Right? Oh, right on. Okay, so I'm glad you put it like that, because yes. that's why I'm dressing up as uh, a familiar face if you've been to Terror Trader. Yeah. I'm doing Bob the Ghost. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, that's a great costume, by the way. I, I, I love me some Bob the Ghost. It's classic. You have the sheet ghost, yep. which is one of my favorites. Yes. Yeah. And then you kind of, it's very iconic, too, if you've seen Bob the Ghost. And I would hope. 100%, right? You know, it's a sign of things to come. Yes. Minus yes. the killing. The, thing, the, you know? the, uh, the, the sheet may come off. Or what's under the sheet? Oh, oh wait, you're the naked guy under the sheet. Yeah, Holy shit. Yeah. All right. And then I could creep kind of while the movie's going on. I could kind of scope out everything, yeah. and no one will know. I just see you, like, standing, like, in a, like, in a, you know, down the hallway, just standing like, what the fuck is Justin doing, man? Oh, God. He's, he's, he's drank too much. He's a little, he's a little too much. Money. Right. But I love that because it's, it is a, an easy costume, right? Yeah. I'm not, I want to be something I could slip in and out slip of. Slip in and out of. And it's great for when you, when the pictures come out. Hey, it's, it's, it's throw the Bob the Ghost thing. In fact, we got a Bob the Ghost here at the store. Guys, come and check him out. Don't look under the sheet. You, you, you might be disappointed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no offense there, Michael Myers, but, uh, he, he ain't doing so well there. No, what, but, uh, so, what, are you, what are you dressing up at at your party? Okay. Yeah. Cause because you know everybody's looking for this iconic. What are you ghost face? What are you this and that? Yeah. Now I, I I always do my own creations, right? Okay. I try to, right? Uh, and there's nothing wrong with just going classic, throwing Myers on or go. Well, although you're not a classic Myers, you are actually. I love the '78 Bob the Ghost. And that's that's brilliant, right? Be honest. When have you ever seen somebody do it? No one. I've no, never, no, it's great. It, it is it is a, uh, a an outstanding costume. Um, I'm going. You know, you know me. I'm very vintage. I like that those EC comic feel, right? I love that pre code horror. I am going with like a grave digger ghoul Ooh. okay um, now i'm talking classic comic book style man i'm talking pale skin right my hands my face are all pale sunken eyes right those 1950s uh type outfit work outfits you know and all that shit you know what i'm talking about yep. and then that little that little flat cap or that newsboy hat right oh, you know yeah. i'm walking around with a shovel i'm a straight up i look like a just a ghoul right but right. i'm that guy with a little lantern you find me in the fucking backyard what is what the fuck's jason doing me sure. back there digging graves man I love that that classic look, dude. You know, yeah, again, it screams out Halloween. Yeah, and something else you don't see. 
Yeah, and guaranteed no one else is wearing Nothing sucks worse when you show up and, you know, look, I'm going to be Ghostface today, and Dude. then, fuck, there's six more. Right. Well, they, well actually, with Ghostface, is okay, because those ten, they tend to party together, right? They do. So that I can do that. Even but, in their own films. Right. So. But, like, when there's two Voorhees, oh, man, it's, there's some tension I'd in be the so, room. I'd be so pissed if there was, like, three Bob the Ghosts. Okay, that'd be, like, <laughs> that'd, be like, <laughs> that'd be fucked, man. Like so, the Spider-Man meme just yeah, pointing at each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. So to eliminate any of that, I, I come up with my own creation um, yeah. or something really original no one's going to come out you know so a, a good graveyard ghoul maybe. yeah just an old school like i said pre cohor 1950s you know got my lantern i'm fucking very sunken in eyes and you know you know just that that look man you know so right a little dusty a little dusty you know and uh so yeah well, i like the like you said the sunken eyes i think about the uh, the quicksand zombie right yes. and they're very oh. soulless sunken eyes and 100 it just man. it makes the whole vibe i don't know i love it yeah that's great i love it too so that's what i'm going to be that's great costumes i love it okay this is what you're going to find us at as, uh, here <laughs> at the fucking uh, the the J D K Manor here or whatever we're at. So right, all right, away. last question. We're getting the fuck out of here. Okay, uh, we got to open the store. Um, <laughs> is there a Ouija board session or a seance that has to happen at your place on Halloween? I w- okay, is this is this for my lead right <laughs> yes, here? Yes, I would love it, man. I wish I could tell you some really cool story from the past thirty five plus years. I, I don't have many because it, you know at, with Ouija boards they're fun in numbers. Yes, yeah. and it's I've never had dance partners. Oh yeah, um, oh, I've yeah, always okay. had the people. You know, I've been wanting to do these things on Halloween night for a long time. Sure, and there's just it's never uh, never had the dance partners do it. Um, yeah, one, I'd like a group of four or five. I don't know. Do you know what the number that's most optimal for <laughs> for like, Ouija? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you go. I I would say no more than four. Four. Yeah, because. Once again, we're all going. We're all putting our hands on this planchette, right, sure. and all that stuff. Three is really good too, you know. Um, you know, obviously, rule number one: never play Ouija board alone. Okay, yeah. uh, fucking just watch Exorcist and see what the fuck happened there. Yeah, find out. Right, you're gonna get a hard on demon fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> busy in your old bedroom, right? And no it's not shit. Uncle Jim, you know. That, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to bring any childhood fucking uh, problems. Um, <laughs> the, the hard, uh, Uncle Jim, the hard on demon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just call me Pazuzu. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, that's fucking wrong. I apologize for that comment. No, uh, I love it. Um, but yeah, so a good three or four people on a Ouija board is awesome, you know. And, and follow the rules. I'm telling you right now. But you know what? I would go. I would say yes on this. I probably skip the Ouija board. Uh, I would do a séance. Okay. There's always someone in our, this friend group, right? That's <laughs> uh, you know a, a, a sensitive, a mystic, or you know, I, yeah, I'm a clairvoyant or something like that. Okay. Fucking call this person out. Let's go. Let's I got do it. I got candles. We let's turn out the lights and uh, let's fucking talk to Aunt Edna here. You know, I like this or uh, some type of fucking demon from the Ninth Circle of Hell. Either <laughs> one or the other, right? So I was just gonna say I need either new friends or now that I think of it, while you're telling us the story, yeah, I just need Tozil. Oh from, fuck! Bring on Anthony. Man. I mean, yeah, Anthony. you guys. We have our, our resident mystic here at the uh, the shop, Tozio's Wonder House, man. And this dude will pr- bring you in another dimension. There's no fucking doubt about yeah, that. He's always man. telling us how he talks to them, like they're like, homies, oh yeah, oh know? yeah, yeah, like homies, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, let's do this. Let's do a seance. I'd love to do a seance. Can we do that this our... October. We, this we we should. Maybe we should fucking just rock one out, man. I have a, an amazing seance table that no one really sees because okay. it's, it's always covered with fucking full moon fucking figures and shit, right? right? Uh, which no one buys, by the way. Someone needs yeah. to come and buy these seconds. Right. Things, right? We got some really good figures out here. Uh, shout out to Full Moon Entertainment. But. No shit, right? Yeah. I, I do got to ask you a question, though. You're the you're the Ouija expert here. Yes. Um, so growing up, I was, you know, you always get told shit that becomes like lore and stuff. Right. And you never know what to believe. Yeah. I was always told when it comes to Ouija boards, if you want the most like optimal experience and the way to do it was like to DIY it. And they said, ditch it. Not so much the board, but they were like a pizza box, like the sure, and do it yourself. Yes, and use like a shot glass. Yes, and apparently it's like even crazier. Is that any, so? Any truth it, in that, that is that is that's a great a great point you bring up, man. Because now that you're building your own Ouija board, man, there's yeah. a connection there, right? And then you're basically that that veil is already thin. If you're doing this thing around like you know three a.m. or something, two or three a.m. or just past midnight, right? Sure. And then now you're you're actually now you are it's like dropping in pieces of blood on a fucking you know sacred cloth of fucking satan or some shit right you're you're actually putting yourself onto this ouija board right someone in this this group has created this and now now there's a a spiritual bond whether you know it or not whether it's your site was a pizza box or or whatever right and yeah right. grabbing a, a glass or a shot glass or something like that to go around yeah it's it's uh that's that's a that's a way if you you want to fuck around and find out? That's yeah. how you do it, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I never knew if there was any truth in that. I was always curious. Yeah. So yeah. now is the time to learn. Yeah. I'm a more of a. I try to find a, a 
a vintage Ouija board, like pre nineteen forties, that has been stuck in somebody's musty ass attic in upstate New York, right? Right, that, that you know, or something like that. That as much as I can find, it, and it just looks used yeah. and abused, and you know, you know I'm what's coming. We're in the, aud- the next to the audience right yes. now, and I'm yeah. staring at several that you have in your collection. And yeah, they look pretty gnarly. These are basically uh, this is these are escalators from hell. Yeah, that's all <laughs> I got. Right, and uh, all you got to do is push the button, turn it on, right. and, uh, and 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 enjoy. Uh, well, you reap what you sow. I have a feeling that escalator is going down. Yeah, um, but I do have one question <laughs> right. for you before we get out of okay. here. And it's yeah. a quick, one, really quick one, yes. short word answer here. Your party. I want to know what you're drinking. Oh man! Like, if, is, are you gonna do some like crazy Ooh, shit or like? Man, uh, since I put you on the spot, I'll answer first. Yeah. I, and I'm a big whiskey guy, right? Yeah. But I'm not, I don't want that at the party, right? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. That's, I'll fucking knock you on your ass. Same here, right? Um, I want some like party shit, and I'm not going twist the tees. I know it's like the thing today, right? Remember Four Locos? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Remember the Four Locos where it was like 600 grams of caffeine yes. plus alcohol? Yeah, it was like killing people. Oh my god, dude. I want that. You want some Four Locos? All right, yeah. Look, <laughs> I'm uh I'm old school, and uh, just fucking me and uh David Sheridan are doing a little what's up, and I got me a fuck. I'm drinking 40 ounces of OD. Oh. All all oh, night, baby. Was... Give me the eight ball. I love it. All right, I'm doing it. eight balls all night. Well, wait, uh-huh. wait, hold on a second. <laughs> no shit, maybe. Yeah, maybe at, noon, at midnight. <laughs> yeah, well, I got to get ready for those last two movies. Right? I might do able, but yeah, I'm drinking. I'm drinking some old English, baby. I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Fucking me and Easy E. Look, oh Jesus, <laughs> Liquid Death had that uh, little tagline. Um, yeah, murder your thirst. Oh, my four local party is just going to be murder your party. <laughs> your fucking party. <laughs> yeah, just, man, any let's no, go. a four local party. Uh, sign <laughs> me to fuck Jesus up. Right. So, all right, guys, all there right. you guys go. There's a hey, man, we're back i love that that was a good podcast and uh, we're, let's do it we're gonna see you guys sooner rather than later yes right? yes Hold so let's do it let's let's have a, an amazing halloween we'll jump back in before halloween is in i'm sure i say that and we'll see you in about four months but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh come by the shop come out of terror trade if you're in local here uh and don't forget our Christmas, not to skip Halloween, but yeah, uh, sure. our Christmas to dismember uh, giant horror, Halloween, or I'm sorry, horror party, <laughs> winter horror party, yes. right? At the Mesa Convention Center here in Mesa, Arizona, uh, December 2nd and 3rd. We got a new crop of celebs. We got all types of photo ops. We got 105 crazy ass horror vendors, and it's a Christmas horror themed. I'm, I'm not going to go too hard on it, man, right now because yeah. I'm in the Halloween mood. So right, but I'm, photo ops out the yin yang. I'm on. telling you, Christmas cards for years, yes. You got Krampus and he's pissed off let's roll i'm ready for this all right baby four locos